I'm Maria Santos and in this video I will present the work done in collaboration with researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology and the University of Pennsylvania on interactive multi-robot painting through color motion trails. This paper presents a robotic painting system where a team of mobile robots, here shown on the right, are equipped with different color paints to create paintings by leaving trails of color as they move throughout a canvas. These robots are controlled through color density maps, shown on the left, which are specified by a person through, for example, a tablet-like interface. As the maps or densities are specified, the robots distribute themselves by means of a heterogeneous coverage strategy where only those robots equipped with the appropriate paint will track the corresponding density functions. As they move, covering the different densities, the robots lay trails of paint by mixing their available colors according to the nearby densities. The painting composition, therefore, arises as the integration of the motion trajectories of the robots. Let us better understand the operation of the painting mechanism through some examples. First, let us consider a single robot equipped with three primary colors, cyan, magenta and yellow, depicted by the three small symbols to its right in this simulation. As the robot moves throughout the canvas, covering different densities, it will be able to mix its available paints in different proportions according to the desired color specification. In the beginning, the user has specified a density that is 100% cyan, as shown on the left. In consequence, as the robot moves towards areas where there is a desired high concentration of cyan, the robot lays a trail using only this color. When the user specifies a magenta density, the robot starts mixing cyan and magenta in its trail according to its painting responsibilities. As the densities evolve over time and the domain, the robot keeps changing the color of its trail based on the coverage masses. Now, let's consider a team of five robots, where each of the robots may have different painting capabilities. For example, the one at the top can only paint cyan and the one at the bottom can only paint yellow. Out of the other three, one can mix the three colors, thus being able to represent any color on the cyan magenta yellow palette, while the other two only have pairwise combinations of the cyan, magenta and yellow. When they work as a team, the robots cover the domain according to the different densities specified by the human user. They take painting responsibility over different areas of the domain, coordinating among themselves based on their painting equipment, that is, the colors they are able to reproduce. While the four robots move laying trails of color that change according to these densities and painting responsibilities, the fifth one, equipped with only yellow, does not move as there is no yellow component to paint. The interactive painting system was deployed in a team of 12 robots at the Robotarium, a remotely accessible Swarm Robotics testbed at the Georgia Institute of Technology. We consider different experimental setups in terms of painting capabilities given to the robots to highlight the effects and benefits of the heterogeneous teams when the painting resources are limited. In this grid we have, on the top left, the evolution of five different density functions as specified by the human user. The colors of these densities change from top to bottom, from yellow to aquamarine, 
passing through orange, deep pink and dark blue, thus emulating the colors in a sunset. On the other five videos, we can see five different experimental setups where the robots are equipped with different combinations of primary paints according to the setups presented in the table before. Among the different experimental setups, as we move towards the right and towards the bottom, the teams are deprived of painting abilities and become increasingly heterogeneous. If we observe the paintings generated by the robots, we can see how the smoothest gradients are observed for the homogeneous team in setup 1, given that in this setup, all the robots have full painting equipment, which means that each of them can mix the primary colors in any proportion. As the teams are deprived of painting capabilities, the general structure of the painting is maintained in terms of color placement, but outlier color traces appear outside of the desired regions. Nevertheless, even when the team has very limited painting capabilities, the multi-robot painting strategy is still able to render color distributions that faithfully correspond to the human user input. For more information, please check out our paper in Frontiers in Robotics and AI. Thank you for watching.